Hello, my horrible little friends, and welcome to day five of the, some say ill-advised, 31 Days of Halloween 3 Challenge. This is Shelby from SPF Entertainment. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you've been following. Uh, and mazel tov to all of you that have joined me in this expedition of fear and loathing in Halloween. Um, so viewing number five, today was pretty crazy. Had a lot of crap going on. Um, so I had to watch it late. Had to watch it uh, multitasking again today. And I think my number one observation when the movie's on in the background, per se, is... How easy it is to... I mean, I know I've watched this movie like dozens of times, if not a, at least a hundred times. Uh, it's how easy it is to kind of just jump right back into it. It's not a crazy complex storyline, but it does a good job of like reintroducing what's going on without being too like exposition heavy. Um... It, it, it's nice. It's just an easy movie. It's simple in its premise, but it's great in its execution. And I, I, that's something I feel like makes it so infinitely rewatchable. And I, I think I've mentioned that several times, and I'll probably continue to mention that, is that it really does not get exhausting to watch this movie a bunch of times because it just it's just a nice, clean... It, it, it honestly it feels like an, like a long a longer format like Twilight Zone episode like truly it it has it has a great little encapsulated story and it really does make you feel bad makes you sad makes you wish that the Halloween franchise had become this sort of anthology uh, storytelling where maybe you got a one and a two part thing like Halloween one and part two is the Michael Myers story, but you'd have these one off stories and like the fact that the appearance of Michael Myers in this movie is the presence of Halloween being the smash hit horror movie in the Halloween three universe. Like Michael Myers isn't real in Halloween 3, the Halloween movies are real in Halloween 3. So it's like a cool multiverse, too. And I just think that's not appreciated enough. I think that's that's part of, like, the genius of, like, the John Carpenter universe is several of his, and we've, we've gone over this in other retrospectives, there are several of his movies that are tied together in the same universes, and uh, I think that fact is lost on a lot of people if you're not really into his stuff, and you really should be. If you're a horror fan and you're not in the John Carpenter stuff, then you're doing it wrong. Because we wouldn't have what we have without his influence. And uh, like I said, I mean, Halloween 3 is just, just got it, baby. And day 5, still hanging in there, still going strong. Even when the world's beating the shit out of me, i still got time for, for my one true love. So, Shelby, out. See you tomorrow.